Keep watching Charis TV. Now your commitment. Tend to be the issue of you want to hear about your problem. And that is why you are, you are deceived. That's why you are deceived. Because always now when you come to church, it's not only issues of your soul now. It's the issue of I want to know about my business. I want, I want to know about I want to know about my girlfriend. I want to know about my boyfriend. What about your soul? How can you compare your girlfriend with your soul? Your business with your soul. You see, your commitment is affected. Now. When you come to church now, how If you don't, if we don't lay hands on you now, this man, he, he doesn't know I've got a problem. I have a problem. This problem is searching for your commitment. It's not searching for someone to lay hands on you. As long as you are alive, you must have problems. They are very good for you. Challenges are very good for you. Challenges to look at you on a So today, forget about challenges. Begin to commit yourself to God. Are you ready? Lift up your hands. Ask God to give you grace to give you strength on following him irrespective of all your challenges prayer allow God to give you grace you want to follow him Ask God to give you grace. Ask God to give you grace. <laughs> My God. I can't hear you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Can you just pray the last prayer? You know where What's you were affected in your commitment. Reveal that to God. Ask God forgiveness and tell God I want to be committed again. Prayer. Father, we were not committed. We were not committed. We were not. We were not committed. We want to be committed. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 
You know, um, if you start to be committed, the voice of God will be clear. The voice of God. There is too much testimonies in the commitment. When you are committing yourself, there is too much testimonies. God will never allow you to die before you die. God will never allow you to die before you die. God will spare you because you are with him. Because commitment puts you where God wants you to be. And where, where God wants you to be. No evil can fall you. Lift up your hands and ask God, Holy Father, I want to hear your voice. Guide me. Let me hear you. Prayer, prayer. I want to hear your voice. Amen. Guide me. I will commit myself and hear your voice. Guide me. I want to hear your voice. Guide me. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. God bless you. See that.